Look, John Jones beat his fiance. It's fucked up, and that's what he did. He's probably been doing this several times before. Why else would she cover for him? Why? Why? Why would you cover for somebody that beat you in front of your kids? He he threatened to fight the cops. He damaged the police cruiser. And then after he did all, like after he beat his fiance, he went to the strip club to celebrate. Rather than take responsibility for his actions. Who does that type of shit? Scumbag. And then on his IG, he all he has to say is, I'm going to stop drinking. That's one step in the right direction, but I still didn't hear no apologies for you beating your fiance, threatening to fight the cops. The cops are just there to do their job. And I get there's bad cops, there's good cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's good Republicans, there's bad Democrats that y'all just believe what some uh, some of y'all believe whatever the fuck they say like they're your daddy and shit and you know same with CNN y'all believe anything they say like they're your daddy and your mommy and shit you know can't think for yourself even though you're a grown ass fucking man but you know we ain't talking about that we're talking about John Jones beating his fiance who, who beats their fiance who does that type of shit? What type of grown ass man beats their fiance? Who does that type of shit? Honestly, who? Who does that type of shit? Who beats their fiance and then go and grabs 10 G's and goes to the strip club and celebrates like nothing happened? And I don't care if alcohol was involved or not. It doesn't excuse it. Because the way I see, I've seen this movie play out a couple times too. This is probably not the first time he's done it. It's probably just ain't a one-time thing. This has probably happened several times before in front of the kids, just like this happened. And, yeah. I think... This is a classic case of the woman's got Stockholm Syndrome. If you don't know what that is, Google it. It'll it'll give you the definition. Uh, and it's kind of like it's normalized, you know. She's gotten it's like a normal thing. She's gotten used to it, so she accepts it. Oh, it's John Jones. He's still bringing in the money. No. No. Women, have more respect for yourself. Don't stay in a relationship and get beat. That goes same for the guy too. If if your girl is putting her hands on you, get the fuck about that that place. Have her thrown in jail. Get a restraining order. Don't just be a little bitch and just take it. With the woman. I get it. John Jones is six foot four, two hundred thirty pounds. And I don't know how big this woman is. She looks you know, kinda small, but I know me, I'm only five foot six, a hundred and thirty five pounds. So if John Jones, you know, was to beat me up, yeah, I'd be looking rough too. But I damn sure know I will win in the end. I always win in the end. Remember that. And what I would do, it, you best believe, I'm g getting on the phone with the police. John Jones' ass is going to jail. I'm pressing assault charges. I'm getting free money out the situation. And John Jones can kiss my motherfucking ass. He can sit on that and rotate in that jail cell. While he's taking showers with grown ass fucking men. Hoping he don't drop the fucking soap. Ha, I win. So, I don't know why the woman is, was covering for him, you know. Women say, you know, they do this stuff, they cover for them because they love them or whatever, but. And it is his fiance, but. 
and they got kids, but it's still no fucking excuse. It's no fucking excuse to put up with that shit. John Jones is a grown ass fucking man, not a kid. He knows better than this shit. And then he threatens to fight the police? They're trying to save your fiancé from you. Because who knows, one of these days you might just come home and beat her to death. And then that'll be all over the fucking news. The police are trying to save you from... They're trying to save your fiancé from you, your kids from you, and they're trying to save you from yourself. But you're too stupid to realize it. Take some, take some accountability. Take some responsibility for your actions. You're a grown-ass fucking man. You're a grown-ass man with kids. And you're doing this shit in front of them. The fact that you're doing it, period, pisses me off. But you're doing it in front of your fucking kids. Scumbags like you make me want to find the biggest motherfucker that I know and roll up to the ha- to their house and jump that motherfucker and beat the shit out of them. It makes me want to call uh shout out shout out uh shout out to Wanda Dawn. It makes me want to get Wanda Dawn on the phone and come to John Jones's house, me and Wanda Dawn and beat the shit out of you. Teach you a lesson, John Jones. But, no. I I don't know, man. I don't know. She was there with her kids to support you that night. You was getting inducted to the UFC Hall of Fame. This is supposed to be the greatest night of your life, man. And you blew it. You fucking blew it. You got inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame, and what do you do? You do this. Something else to embarrass the sport, the company. The business. At the end of the day, it's entertainment, it's UFC, but it's still a business. And you're beating your wife, your fiancé, in front of your kids. You're threatening to fight the police. You're damaging the police cruiser, which is a felony. And I get, I've get i seen this movie play out so many times. I'm just going to say it like this. I don't think it's the first time he's done it. I don't think it's the first time he's put his hands on his fiance. I don't. I wasn't born yesterday. I'm 26, about to be 27. I've seen the way people work in life, and I I see how this plays out. You didn't, this wasn't just a one-time thing. I'd be willing to bet money on it. This wasn't just a one-time thing. You've done this probably several times before. She's gotten used to it, and the kids have probably seen it so many times that they're, you know, it might not have got as bad as it got this time, but... This time it did get that bad, and the kids was like, oh, hell no. We've had enough. Hell no. And they they got the police involved. The kids was the ones that got the police involved. Not the woman. The woman was trying to cover for them. The, the, the kids were the, the smartest ones in the room. The kids. How sad is that? The, ki- the kids was the ones that got the police involved, and... Yeah, the kids were the only ones in that room that did the that was smart enough to do the right thing. Y'all are supposed to be the parents. Y'all are supposed to be smarter than the kids. Y'all are supposed to know right from wrong, know better than the kids do, and teach them. But no, it's backwards for some reason. Why is that? Why is that? Why was it that the kids was the only smartest ones in the room to call the police? And the woman tried covering for him, but, you know, the blood was all over her face. There's no getting around that. 
And then she was emotional, broke down crying, and that kind of gave it away. The blood on the bed. Like, so the cops wait for John Jones to, to return from the strip club, and then they arrest his ass. He threatens to fight them. He damages the police cruiser. And then when they arrest him, his fiance is, uh, goes to the police. How long is he going to be in there for? I need to know. How much time do I have till he gets out? How much time do I have? That tells me all I need to know right there. The mystery has been solved, y'all. Your fiancé just dropped the beans. That lets me know you've done this several times before, and she's scared for her life. And she wants to get the fuck up out there with the kids before you come back. Because she's got a feeling you're just going to get a slap on the wrist, like you always do. Which I don't think that you, that's what's going to happen this time. Not because you beat her, you know, because famous people can get away with so much shit. It's insane. But the fact that you damaged, you threatened officers, but that ain't even it. The fact that you damaged a police cruiser, you ain't getting away with that. Nobody gets away with that. That's a felony. But she needs to follow a restraining order, you know, where you can't come anywhere near her. She needs to take all your rights away from you to where you can't see these kids because you're a bad example. You're going to teach them that that shit's okay. And then you know what's going to happen? They're going to grow up and we're going to have a Chris Brown incident where he beat Rihanna. And you know what Chris Brown said? He grew up in an abusive uh, family. You know, his his dad, his mom was always fighting and shit. And look at what happened. But. I don't know, man. I don't know. But Chris Brown, he's learned from that mistake. John Jones don't learn from shit. She needs to follow a restraining order, get all your rights taken away from you, and that's how it should be. You can't just go around doing whatever the fuck you want as a grown-ass fucking man just because you got money, you're famous, you're a UFC legend, UFC gold. Yeah, I get it, but still don't, you still have to answer to people. You still don't get to do whatever the fuck you want and get away with it. In a way, that's kind of Dana White and the UFC's fault. Because all the fucked up shit you did, you just got a slap on the wrist. The only time you got suspended was for testing positive for steroids. That was the only time they that Dana White put his foot down. As if the hit and run with the pregnant lady wasn't bad enough. Which I get it. He, 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 John Jones was very young at the time. He probably panicked. but it's, And he, he does feel deeply sorry and apologize for it. So I'm not going to hold that against him. But this right here, I ain't heard no apologies yet. And it's just... Nah, man. Nah. I hope you go to jail. Get taught a real valuable lesson. Because I'm going to tell you something. Anybody knows that if you go to jail for beating a woman, those inmates are going to give you a hard time, man. They don't play that shit. And they're not going to play it just because you're John Jones, neither. You may have some fans in there, I'm sure. You accomplished a lot in UFC, but them fans ain't going to be starstruck and blinded. They're, they're going to know the code and they're going to teach you a lesson. You're going to find out. You're going to find out. Floyd Mayweather did that shit and he went to jail and he found out, man, this is rough. You're going to find that out. You're going to find that out. 
You are. You're going to find it out. And what makes this even worse is you're not even apologetic, man. And you're a lot bigger than Floyd, so that makes it this even worse. Man. You've always managed to pull yourself right back up and oh, and overcome the obstacles, you know, your mistakes, but this 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 is proving that you still ain't really learned anything and you're going to be taught a lesson. You're going to be taught a lesson. And it's sad the woman was covering for you. It really is. It's sad. Have some respect for yourself. And what makes this even worse, they, she was there with the kids to support you, man. She probably drove to Vegas, wherever she's from. She probably drove to Vegas just to be there to support you. Because it's supposed to be the greatest night of your life. And you go and do that shit to her. That's like a big spit or slap in the face. Scumbag, man. And then you don't even... You didn't apologize. You don't even feel bad about it. You went and grabbed 10 G's off your dresser or whatever and went to the strip club and celebrated. You beat your fiance and then you went to the strip club to celebrate. Like you just won the championship. Like you just beat Daniel Cormier for the third time in a row. Like, come on, man. You know, I thought Daniel Cormier was exaggerating when y'all was having a rivalry. In the, uh, and then y'all did the face-to-face -face with Joe Rogan. And he was saying that you're never going to change. I thought he was exaggerating, but he was on to something. He was right. He was right about you. And that's why he felt like he, he he was so obligated to teach you a lesson in the octagon by beating your ass, but he couldn't get the job done. You kicked his ass, so you didn't learn a lesson. But you might have beat Daniel Cormier in the octagon, but he beat you in life. He's a way better person than you'll ever be. He's a family man. He never embarrasses the UFC or Dana White. Uh, he's a company man, and he makes the UFC proud. He's a great commentator. He has his own talk show on ESPN, which is doing very well. What have you done outside of the octagon? Nothing. You just got arrested last year for... Drinking and driving and shooting your gun off. Like, dude, you're a grown ass man with kids. Get your shit together. You're embarrassing UFC, Dana White, your fans. You're embarrassing all of them. Just because you want to act stupid. And you ain't the only one. Don't get me wrong. You ain't the only one. Conor McGregor's doing the same shit. He's not beating women. I can assure you that. But he's still he's still doing some pretty fucked up shit that I probably need to make a video on. I probably need to make a video on Conor McGregor too. You know? Because I got some stuff to say about him too. Because he's done some fucked up shit too. And I've lost respect for Conor McGregor too, so don't think I'm just attacking you. I need to do a video on Conor McGregor too. I need to. I, I'm going to try to do it tomorrow or Saturday, but I need to do one on Conor McGregor too. I'm kind of ashamed that I haven't already, but I need to. Because he, he's done some fucked up shit and he says some fucked up shit. But even with all the fucked up shit Connor's done, he's never put his hands on a woman. Even Conor McGregor knows not to cross that line. Even Conor McGregor 
has more integrity and morals than that. And this is Conor McGregor we're talking about here. And the messed up shit Conor's done, he's apologized for. Punching the old man in the bar, he apologized. Smashing somebody's cell phone, I think he apologized. But that ain't too big of a deal. But it's fucked up, but it ain't too big of a deal. Uh, throwing a dolly through the bus, he apologized for that. Uh, uh, what else did he do? The MGK shit, that ain't even that big of a deal. I mean, MGK, <laughs> MGK is a lot bigger and taller than him, plus MGK practices jiu-jitsu. That's, I'm telling y'all, that really ain't that big of a deal, what happened at the award show. Nobody even got hurt. A drink got thrown. Wow. MGK pushed Connor. Connor threw a drink. Wow. Kid stuff. Just to keep his name out there and relevant. Uh, now, the fucked up shit Connor said to uh, Dustin's wife, that was fucked up. And I probably need to do some type of video on that. But at the end of the day, it's still not beaten. He still didn't beat her. John Jones, you put your hands on a female. There's no getting around that. There's no dancing around that. Why is two of the greatest UFC, you know, guys of all time embarrassing the sport in themselves like this? I ain't going to say Connor's the one of the greatest. Well, he, he's one of the greatest, but there's still a lot of people that's better than him. Let's be real. You know, but he, he's still one of the greatest, I guess. You know, I used to be a big fan of both of these guys, Connor and John Jones, but now I just don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But Dana White is to blame a little bit for this because he let John Jones get away with so much shit. Like, Nick Diaz just tested positive, like, many years ago for marijuana. He gets suspended for six years. Like, what the fuck? Connor does all this shit, and then he tests positive for cocaine, steroids, and, you know, slap on the wrist, slap on the wrist, slap on the wrist, hit and run, slap on the wrist, all this fucked up shit, slap on the wrist, all the fucked up shit Connor did, slap on the wrist. In a way, Dana White is to blame. And if Dana White don't cut you from the UFC, he is to blame. You should be cut from the UFC. I mean, I kind of hope they don't go that route because I want to see you get your ass kicked now by Francis Nagano or Sirio Gon or Stipe, whatever. But... If we're just looking at what's the right thing to do, that's the right thing to do. Fire your ass. You're gone. You've embarrassed the sport long enough. You're gone, bro. Go embarrass Bellator. See if they'll accept you. I guarantee they won't. Because they're nowhere near as big as UFC is. So they're not going to take you embarrassing their sport. They need all the good publicity they can get. They're not going to let you embarrass their sport and give you bad, give them bad publicity. They're not going to let you embarrass their sport. After this recent, not to mention all the other fucked up shit, but this right here, no one's going to take you. Once UFC cuts you, which they should, you're done. You're done. You're going to be sitting on the couch doing not shit. And you'll have nobody to blame but yourself for being a scumbag. Scumbags always get what they deserve. And John Jones, it's finally about to happen to you. And I honestly can't wait to see it. It sucks as a fan, but 
what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And I'm not going to look the other way. You're going to get taught a lesson. And that's all I got to say about that. Fuck you.